Hi there, it's June 11th and we've had a fantastic week. We have been doing all sorts of wonderful things with Rusty One. Main thing we had Bill Merriweather over my pinstriper and uh, we did a lot of work on here. You can see all of the between all of the planking on the mahogany on the whole top of the car is all done in copper. Okay? We've outlined all of the lines here. We've uh, completely detailed and pinstriped everything that we possibly can. We added the Italian coat of arms. Unfortunately, or fortunately, since I'm able to change things around a little bit, they're no normally in black, but since the car was black, we had to do something a little different. We put it in the grays with the black tones and so forth. So that is the original Italian pre-war king of Italy's coat of arms. So here we go. And you can see we've added and finished. And the car really right now is, is about what you're going to see is what you get. And we're in the midst of Andreas and I are in the midst of, uh, I should say, Andreas is doing 99% of it. I'm helping doing a little soldering. On the wiring, we're completely wiring the car, putting in all the new instrumentation and everything. As soon as that's done, we're down to a little bit of leather around the cockpit, the seats, and the interior. And thanks to our friend, good friend Ken Goldman, got me some absolutely fantastic leather. And it's just top grain, top of the line. And so it's going to be uh, throughout Rusty One. We made another decision that I don't know how this is going to go or not. Maybe we can't even do it. But I decided that why not enter into, for the Grand National, the Amber Award, AMBR. Amber, that's America's Most Beautiful Roadster. This is a big roadster. It's not like what most people consider a roadster. They think a 1932. That's the ultimate roadster. Well, I don't think Ford at this particular time. I think American La France and special. And this is 97 years old. So when if we can get it in uh, for the Amber Award uh, to be in competition there, it'll be 98 years old. So it's going to be something a little different for the Hot Rod Society as a whole. I think that this time... Maybe a little something needs to be injected to get a few more ideas going because uh, we need to get more people actually building cars other than just, boom, ordering out of a catalog and then making a few little modifications. Make the whole damn car. Do, do it like we did at the very beginning. Radical, radical designs is what Hot Rod was all about. And that influenced most of the great designs in, on, on automobiles for the last 60 years. And that's from basically our California hot rodders where it started and it mushroomed out from there. So I hopefully we're going to be the beginning of a little toad still and maybe make something happen here too. But I wanted to share this with you. It is a delightful, delightful car. We're going to have a ball. And we've been having a wonderful time. This week on the 8th, started Monday, uh, La Bistione, the big yellow monster, 240-inch car. Uh, that was uh, uh, showcased on Jay Leno's garage, and it was unbelievable. I had 150 friend requests in the first 24 hours. I think we've got uh, just so far 40,000 that I could see in just a couple days of people that have hit on it. Hundreds of, of, of beautiful letters and nice things that were said. There's a few people that say, eh, I don't like it. But, you know, there's always a few people that say, eh, I don't like it. And you know what you do about people that say, eh, I don't like it? Ignore them. They're nothing anyway. So anyway, here we are, and uh, I hope to see you. When you see Andreas and I on the road driving our cars, wave and give it a little toot. We'll do it back. 